In tonight's video I'm going to tie this perdigon nymph. It's a very easy pattern but there is one thing you should pay attention to and uh, it can be annoying if you tie these patterns and you, you're just beginning to tie, tie them. Uh, so uh, the difference between this one and this one over here is quite obvious. Look at the tail. At the top one I missed by accident moved the bead a little bit too forward too backwards and this one is more or less just about right so that's the one of the mistakes you can just jump into and now let's get into tying so for the hook i'm going to use uh well, let me show you first for the hook i'm going to use size 18 jig hook for the bead i'm using yavi bead in 2.5 millimeters so 18 size hook 2.5 is this tail is cocktailion, body is any kind of flesh material so like this whatever you call this color green one purple one and I'm going to use purple one because one of the viewers actually suggested that I do the life cycle of a mayfly a purple haze variant and because I don't have materials for it I just figure it out why not tying a perdigon nymph. So I'm gonna do it with purple one. Um, the thread is rather thin. It has to lay flat and the thread is GSP120 white but I'm going to color it in black. That's very important because if you keep it white it's going to affect the overlook of the fly actually the tinsel is going to be more light in color and if you have it black the tinsel is going to be more dark in color uh, I'm going to start with a thread that's relatively short lay it against the hook and with the tag and go from behind and over the top so I'm doing the reverse jam hitch and because it's uh, GSP I need more wraps to secure everything but it, when I feel that my bobbin holder is safe it's not going anywhere I'm going to put this tag end towards the front end of the hook and that's it catch the tag end with the rest of the thread and everything is safe over here now I'm using as I say 2.5 millimeter tungsten yavi bead and the reason why I did this this way is because if I started over here I had to go here but to attach the bead you need to catch it here first in these gaps so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press on it and use these gaps to cinch down on it now as you can see it laid perfectly nice I can taper everything I want over here more or less well and that's it now I need a little bit of super glue to keep everything safe okay maybe this is too much super glue but it's okay now remember always flatten your thread that's super important as you're tying this fly now I'm going with less pressure I'm going to go down this because I don't want this to slide down as it did a little bit I'm gonna create this smooth taper over here that's one of the most important parts of this fly because if I create that and I can only do it with a smooth and uh, flat thread I can just go and continue tying my fly towards the eye now I need my tailing material and it's going to be cocktailion counter spin the bobbin now let me see where am I this is more or less okay make it a bit shorter now what I can do is I can go below like so but I'm not happy with this I'm gonna back off 
because I have too much material and I went too much into the band over here. So the tail is going where I don't want it to go. I'll take another tail. Well, I do make mistakes maybe more often than I would like to, but it's okay. It's for humans to make a mistake. So a little bit of tail over here. So again, counter spin the bobbin so the thread jumps or stays on the top as it did. And yeah, this looks much better. And now I can cut this tail and I can also attach the tinsel. Let's see, this is okay. As you can see, as I advance forward, this thread is preventing the thread from here to slide down. That's one of the important bits of it, but I need to back up because I need to cover the tinsel a little bit more. But that's okay. Here. And I'm going to cover the underbody. As you can see it's super smooth and that's like super important in tying uh, purding of flies because it will, it will allow you to make smoother, smoother body. And this is it. I don't need anything else here. Now, marker. And marker will soak and color everything where I want, how I want it. Okay. Okay, I'll just touch it over here, let it soak around. Yep, this is it. I don't want to touch the bead. But then again, if I do, it's not end of the world. I'm gonna color the thread. And by the time uh, I put a cap on and wind up the bobbin back, bobbin holder back, it's supposed to be dry. Now, I'm going to wind the tinsel. Try to overlap tinsel slightly it's going to be more shiny if you do that and everything is going to be more smooth I don't want to see pure black going from between two wraps Now intentionally I left this gap empty. This is going to be black wing case cover or whatever fish will see from it. But for me it's just to hide the materials inside. Okay. Now if you don't have good scissors you can cut this and then just push it with a thread like so push it back and lock it so you don't have that tag end okay flatten the thread again and finish off the fly flat thread is necessary for the whip finish because it will allow you to finish the fly more neatly Okay, and final step, almost final step is how to cut the thread. So, with non serrated edge of the blade, press against this here, and it won't leave tag. Let me see, everything looks good. Maybe I should color this. And it happened exactly what I didn't want to happen, so I'll just stop here. Now, very convenient thing, dental brush, UV glue, 
good combination. So I can apply more UV at, at the beginning and remove excess with this dental uh, dental brush. And I got this like I know that these are cheap, but I'm using these for like six or seven years. As you can see, I'm just like fighting those dust hairs. Oh, I hate when this happens. Okay, it's here. So try to apply thin layer of the UV. But if you have too much, it's also okay because you can always remove the excess. If you don't have this brush, just use the needle, uh, the needle, dubbing needle. That's it, but I don't need to remove anything from here. And just wipe it with uh, some paper and it's good as new. Now I'm gonna talk about how I fish the fly because it takes a little bit more time to cure this with uh, this light that's not super strong anymore. I need to change the batteries. So uh, tippet is one of the most important uh, aspects when you are ur urine nymphing and the length directly depends on the depth of the place where you're fishing and the, the flow, is it slow or fast. Uh, the thickness of your tippet depends purely on the fish you're going to catch if you ask me. So if you're catching big fish most of the time, doesn't make much sense to use like 7 or 8x. But if you're fishing mostly small fish, uh, spooky fish, then you have to go with a lower one. Also, very important one is to use thinner tippet if you're trying to go deeper, because thinner tippet will allow your fly to go very deep and very fast. Uh, that's more or less it. It's like super basic knowledge, but sometimes people do not consider these things. So uh, what I do like to do is to change my setup as I change the spot. So literally in 50 meters, I can change my setup like three times. I'm not lazy to do that. I, I will keep literally sometimes the same pattern, like pheasant tail. Some, sometimes I would use with two mm beads, sometimes it's three millimeter beads, sometimes it's like what, four or Yavi bead bead. So it's something that I change. Uh, sometimes instead of changing the, the weight of the fly, I will, wait, uh, I will change the thickness of the uh, tippet. I will go, if I want to go deeper, I go to a thinner one and longer one. If I want to go more shallow, uh, I will use the thicker one. Uh, it also affects your presentation, so everything matters. And don't be lazy to um, to change everything because it will catch you more fish. So guys, uh, if you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe, share, because it really helps my channel grow. And according to your comments, uh, I guess it's worth watching my channel. So. I would really appreciate if you would share more of this, these videos and share my channel. Uh, until next week, keep safe and tight lines.